cafe congelado está increíble. So right now we are in the city of Ica, which is this tiny little village that just has a little pond in the center of it. Later today we have something very epic planned, but for right now we're gonna explore around this little town since all there really is is sand, but we're gonna try and get a little bit of skateboarding in. So this little city that we're in is called Huaca, China. I'm pretty sure all the people who live here have no idea what a skateboard is. There's only 100 people who live here in this whole entire city. What are you talking about? Mad spots in this city. Yeah, check it. Here, man. There we go. I think we may have just found the best spot in all of Pakachina. So there doesn't appear to be any other places with concrete, it's just sand everywhere, so we might have to just go sandboarding. I can't next... believe that. Uh, uh, can't believe that. Damn. Uh, what a bummer. I am definitely very upset that my skateboard broke. Hopefully when we go back to Lima we can meet up with some skateboarders and hopefully they have an old board laying around because I definitely want to skate once we get back to Lima. You know, skateboards break, especially when you're skating a big stair set, something like an eight or more, the chances of you landing in the middle and the board breaking are pretty high. Anyway, I think it's just a sign that we should explore more of this amazing village, so I think we're gonna go into the sand dunes. Into the sand dunes! Into the sand dunes. steps so in this part of Peru just for thousands of miles it's just dunes of sand and that's exactly what this little city is it's just a city surrounded by dunes We're we are literally in the middle of nowhere should we try and climb that Oh wow. Yeah, that's sketchy. Yeah. It looks so sick from up here though. I know. That's why we got drones. Exactly. <laughs> Hola. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Can we go in este? <laughs> We are out here, Dylan Collins. I know on this camera, you could tell that this is green water. It is in person, but supposedly that this lake is used to cure bronchitis and other diseases. I don't know about that. You know I'm saying that this place is just surrounded by sand and how we should go sandboarding? Well, we met a guy who knew a guy and we're going sandboarding. The 
us something right. We are in the middle of nowhere Peru right now. No, we're totally somewhere. It's the best place we could possibly be. We're in the middle of the desert. <laughs> <laughs> Driving was on point. Ah, uh. It's gonna be so much fun. One it. Gracias. All right, time to go sandboarding for the first time in our lives. In the middle of Peru. This is massive. Starting it off. and this is sandboarding in Peru. Woo! I got pretty good dentists in Peru. Oh, this is gross, dude. That's enough. <laughs> I had some easy falls, but Dylan kind of just like front flipped the first two <laughs> seconds. Oh, sick. So, sandboarding was such an epic experience. Not just the sandboarding, but just going around the dune buggies and seeing all of that desert, that oasis was just insane. I've never witnessed anything like that before in my life. And as far as the sandboarding goes, it was really fun, but the tour group that we went with, we only got to go down three mountains, and the first one we all went down on our stomachs, and the last two, we were still getting used to it, and it is way harder than snowboarding, or I wouldn't go as far as harder, but it's a lot different controlling a board on the sand than on snow, but tomorrow, Dylan and I want revenge, especially Dylan, because he ate shit. Tomorrow we have an awesome day planned and we're definitely gonna go sandboarding on our own and instead of having the dune buggies take us around We're just gonna go by foot so it's gonna be an awesome adventure And the one last thing I wanted to say I know people have been commenting that they haven't been seeing my videos in their Subscription box so if you want to click the little bell thing next to the notifications Then you'll know every single time I upload it and I've been trying to upload Almost every day at least every other so then you'll be up to date with uh, all your episodes Damn, this desert got me sunburned as fuck.